If you want to install a Hyper-OS modded edition, one of the most improved Hyper-OS modded edition we have right now, this is Xiaomi EU. One of the most popular and also from a long time it has existed. I'm just using it on my device which is Poco F5 and it's available for many Xiaomi devices. It is based on the China version or you can say global version for some of the devices but it is good. It's quite smooth. The app opening, app closing animations, many things are just so smooth in this case. One of the main highlights of using Xiaomi U is the smoothness. At least in my device it's looking just so smooth. If you move on to the one more thing which is basically OTA updates. This is one of the only few editions of HyperOS which brings you OTA updates and this is so good. So you can update after installing the Xiaomi EU on a device. If you get any new update, you can update it directly in fast boot mode. You can also update it through recovery mode. You just have to choose if your device has TWRP or not and it will definitely work for you even with or without TWRP recovery. If you move on to notification section, you will see the option named as notification history, which is a very basic thing. But in many MIUI or HyperOS editions, it is actually hidden and you need, you need to find it. You need to search it. In some cases, it is unlocked. In some cases, it is not. But in this case, notification history is already enabled. Also, you will see this customized toggle display option where you can adjust some things. You already have the option for system icons which you want to enable or disable from status bar. But we also have some connected devices option available in this case. So it is updated to the latest version. New UI and many more things are already available in this case. Including this one thing which I found after a long time in HyperOS latest version. That's super wallpapers available in this case. Maybe I'm wrong, but I tried the super wallpapers in my previous updates. It was not that in many modded editions, we are not getting super wallpapers. But in this case, I found super wallpapers are back at least on my device. And of course, I used it after a long time. Last time when I used super wallpapers, I was using Redmi Note 8. So you can simply think about it, how the experience would have been. Now, because I'm using a not actually a flagship device, but at least it's a better device than Redmi Note 8. The super wallpapers seems to be quite good one. The response seems to be quite good one and it is actually fine. If you move on to other connectivity options, you will find this link to Windows option. In some modded editions of HyperOS, link to Windows definitely is not available. You can install that manually separately, no issues with that, but it is enabled by default. I just wanted to let you know. You can simply move on to more connectivity options and you will find link to Windows option there. If you move on to home screen, basically default launcher customizations, you will not find anything unique, but the useful things, for example, in system navigation section, you will find the na option named as shortcuts. We have press and hold full screen indicator, which means circle to search. Circle to search is here. You can choose none. If you don't want circle to search, if you want circle to search, then you can use it. In case if it is not working for you, update the Google app on a device once and done. It will take some time to launch, by the way, like AOSP, it is not that fast whenever you try to open circle to search. And one more thing, if you talk about Gemini, which is Google Assistant, Google's latest assistant, now it is replaced with Gemini. It is also that it is also working fine. So that is actually quite good. Including this, if you move on to some theming options, you will notice that theme store as expectedly having all the Chinese themes, um, of course, translated and import option is already present. But like in some other modded editions of HyperOS and so on, the default widgets app, I mean, some themes or some widgets and super icons, some things are not unlocked in this case. So you have to use some other modded apps to use them. If you move on to privacy protection features, things are already good in Xiaomi HyperOS. But one thing which I actually loved in HyperOS from a long time is the option named as incognito. So if you turn on this incognito mode, it will suspend the microphone and camera related permissions for all the applications. This is one of the most underrated things and just so useful. This is what about we have in privacy protection and so on. One more thing which I found in this latest version is circle to search is available is in options. Yes, it is available in the default launcher already, but it is available in other options, basically additional settings. You will find the option named as circle to search, so you have to enable from there. The volume panel is also the new one, which is basic and it, it is it might be available with every hyperverse learning device right now, which is OK, which is absolutely fine. So you have this tab style volume panel available and also the power menu. It brings you advanced extended power menu, which you can enable from developer settings and done. 
so this is it these were things just wanted to let you know it's available for some of the devices officially of course if you want to give it a try you can link is available in the description this is it thanks for watching hope you like this we'll see you in the next one